Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm back with another MLB 12 The Show video, and this is going to be another franchise episode, and it's been a little while since I've done this, but uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys game one of this three-game series with the Tigers. It'll be Aaron Crow uh, versus, I believe, Rick Porcello, and I'm showing you guys the other three games that I should eventually be showing you guys, but uh, most likely not anytime soon. Uh, because I'm having more fun playing Road to the Show and uh, the new series that I'm going to do. I'm not going to give it away yet. Uh, but thanks for ev everybody who did vote on that video. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so I'll come out with the new series sometime this weekend. And um, yeah, that should be fun. So you can compare our uh, numbers here. They're hitting a little bit better than we are, but uh, we have a, an up on them on average. They're obviously hitting more home runs and more RBIs than us. Uh, but we are a little bit quicker than them. Our pitching's kind of similar in a lot of places, except for strikeouts and home runs. We are giving up a lot of home runs, and uh, we're striking out a little bit more um, people than they are. So, and uh, our records aren't really comparable. They're a little bit a ways ahead of us, as you see our team stretching there, or members of our team getting ready there. I think that's Moustakis there. But uh, we're playing at Comerica Park, and uh, it, this game is... It goes on forever. I never thought, I never expected this game to go this long. I didn't think that, I actually, while I was playing it, didn't think it was ever going to end. Um, and here's our lineup. You can pause it if you want to see it. Uh, it's nothing real too special. But here we go. We're going to skip Bernardino's at bat because uh, he doesn't do anything special. We'll get into Micah Velas. He gets a fastball over the outside part of the plate and shoots it into left field for our first base hit of the game. And uh, in this game, base hits come very few and far between, so uh, you might enjoy it uh, as we get it. So here's Johnny Peralta with a runner on first. Aaron Crow is going to throw him a two-seamer inside. He's going to dribble it out to short, and Escobar flips it over to, I think, uh, Avilas at second, who flips it over to Hosmer for the 6-4-3 double play. Now Hosmer at the plate in the top of the fourth uh, with nobody on, nobody out. Second pitch to him is a breaking ball that's hit in the air deep to left field. Delman Young racing back and makes the catch on the warning track, uh, taking away extra bases from Hosmer. I actually thought this was going to be uh, the home run that I'd been looking for all game, but I didn't have enough air on it. And I think the wind was blowing in from left center, so that might have knocked it down a little bit, but that's uh, it really doesn't matter now. Alex V at the plate with a 0-2 count and two outs with a runner on first, and he can't hold up on that two-seamer low and away. So that's Aaron Crow's first strikeout of the game, and it came in a very crucial spot. Uh, now with runners on first and second with one out in the top of the fifth, uh, Alcides Escobar stands in, gets a slider away from him that he gets uh, to swing at there, grounds into the 6-4-3 double play, and it uh, ruins a scoring chance there for the Royals. And uh, I was swinging at a lot of sliders breaking away from me, a lot of breaking balls. Uh, I chased them a lot during this game. And uh, I'm sorry about the editing. I wasn't on my best game on editing uh, in this game. So Avila swings at that slider out of the zone, hits it to the hole, and Peralta makes a nice jeter jump throw uh, deep in the hole, almost into left field. Uh, we'll get another good look at it here. Uh, close up, gets the ball back, hands, jumps and throws off one foot, and then Prince with a nice pick there to get Avilas by a step. Then the next clip is going to be Fielder with Miguel Cabrera on first 0 2 pitch, two seamer swung on and missed. So we get Prince Fielder to strike out there. Uh, Aaron Crow is pitching very well this game. Uh, he did not get intimidated with their power hitters at the plate. So next batter, Alex Avilas, uh, or Avila. Uh, takes that fastball right in the zone there for strike number three. So that's two outs in the inning, stranding Cabrera at first. Then we move to the bottom of the eighth. 2-2 two -two count to Delman Young. And he's going to check swing at that four-seam fastball, but it's right there for strike number three. Uh, not a lot of highlights came in the uh, game at all, really. Uh, it gets exciting towards the end for them, but uh, I don't want to spoil anything. So we move to the top of the ninth. 0-2 oh count to Micah Velas as he takes the change up there. Uh, a little bit inside. And then the next pitch uh, from Dwayne Below, I think, is who was pitching. I've never heard of him in my life. It is a slider that apparently catches the zone. Looked like it was a little bit low, but with umpire balls and strikes on variable, you're not going to get that call. Go your way when you're hitting. So next batter is Eric Hosmer with one out. 
Uh, score still nothing, nothing. We could not get anything going offensively uh, at all. We'd get maybe a runner on every inning, but we couldn't move him only to about second base. So Hosmer with a 1-0 count gets, I believe, a fastball, and he shoots that one into right field for a clean single there. So we've got something going in the ninth, but uh, it would go nowhere, as we'll see a little bit later. Uh, there's a good view of our manager. So here's Alex Gordon, the next hitter. 3-1 count to him. Gets a fastball outside corner, and he shoots that one to center field, but it has no air on it whatsoever. Almost hit directly at Austin Jackson out there in center, and he makes the catch to retire Alex Gordon for the second out, I believe. So the next batter is Hideki Matsui, dh in tonight, and he's facing Dwayne Below, and the first pitch to him is going to be a fastball up in the zone that he shoots to center field also a little bit deeper than Gordon's but only about right on the end of the warning track there as Jackson retires Matsui so we can't get anything going in the ninth so we'll move to the bottom of the ninth with uh, Miguel Cabrera on at the plate two outs takes that fastball should have been strike three and uh, Sean Burnett's on the mound by the way and I wanted Cabrera to make uh, I wanted to make him beat me. Shoots that one to left field. Going to be off the wall. But Alex Gordon makes a fantastic leaping catch there. Uh, I, I didn't expect him to catch it. I really expected him to, you know, miss it. But he made a fantastic play. I was in complete awe there. So we move to the bottom of the 10th. Sean Burnett facing Alex Avila. He shoots that one to left field. I dive stupidly with Alex Gordon. It rolls all the way to the wall. But Bernadina gets there, picks it up, and gets it back into the infield to keep Avila to... Uh, double so that was a good part there and then they switch out uh, Alex Avila who is a catcher for Gerald Laird I guess they didn't want to burn another uh, another runner uh, you know giving somebody fast they just wanted to go ahead and put Laird in there so he could just catch without having to do another switch but here's Brennan Bosch in the bottom of the 11th uh, still facing Sean Burnett I left him in for about two innings hits this one to deep right uh, right field in the corner but Frank Hoare makes a nice running catch into the corner there uh, Burnett did do a very good job in relief. Only gave up about one or two hits in his uh, three innings. So here's Alex Gordon in the top of the 12th. Gets a slider up in the zone that he sends back up the middle into center field for a base hit. So we've got something going again in the 12th inning. So this might be our only chance to get something going uh, with our bullpen, you know, slimming down a little bit. And uh, here comes Matt Suey to the plate. One for four on the day. Uh, and oh sorry there see that's what I'm talking about the editing was stupid by my part I my video thing wasn't working but uh, now I got Sony Vegas Pro 11 I think I cracked it somehow so um, actually my dad helped me do that and uh, you see I want to put in uh, Lewis Coleman to come into the game uh, Mike Moustakis is at the plate to be exact with two outs in the 12th gets a slider uh, that he times decently but it only said I had okay contact so he dribbles out to second there so that inning is all for naught and uh, you see the middle of their order is coming up so here's Prince Fielder facing Lewis Coleman I wanted the middle of the order to you know I wanted to make them beat me uh, Bernardina makes a very nice running catch there as he's almost shocked that he caught the ball he had to show it uh, to prove it um, but I wanted, you know, Cabrera and Fielder to, you know, I wanted to put fastballs up in the zone. I wanted to see if they could beat me because they couldn't do it all game. So I challenged them with fastballs up in the zone, and they mainly just flied out. They didn't uh, ever hit one out. I, I was expecting, you know, just to end the game that inning, um, you know, just to kind of just get the game over with because I wanted to actually play the next two games and put them all in one game, but this game lasted so long I just couldn't. So in the bottom of the 13th, on an 0-2 count with two outs, Brennan Bosch shoots that pitch into center field for the game winner. Uh, scores the runner from third. And uh, he had been ripping the ball all game. Uh, he just didn't have anything go his way. But uh, the Tigers do end up winning this game on that walk-off single by Brennan Bosch. Uh, so we kind of felt deflated after that. But uh, uh, next game will be out, game two of this series. Uh, if it is shorter, if the game is shorter, I'll include game three also as uh, Coleman's pretty pissed about that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and be on the lookout for more Royals Franchise Mode episodes as I'll leave you with the rest of the video. See you guys later.